Hello, Miranda here. In this video, I will be showing you what I did for the first seven days of World Watercolor Month, which is where you do one watercolor every single day for the month of July. That address right there, you can send your unused, unopened art supplies and they will give them to somebody in need. And the prompts this month were made by Angela Fair, and there they are on the screen. For day one, which was Rejoice, which I didn't really follow the prompt on this one, but on day one, I painted this Kingfisher, and you can see that in the video that I will link up in the corner there. And so that one was done with my core watercolor paints, and it was quite a bit of fun. Really enjoyed it. Loved working on the arches square block paper. After that, I left to go to the lake and I was surrounded by water and the day two prompt is texture. And I thought, hey, I could paint the texture of the water, so to speak. <laughs> we were on my grandma's pontoon boat and we were going to go fishing. There's some of my family members and there is water. So I was on the boat. I couldn't set up my video setup and so I just had to take little shots with my phone every once in a while and that is what I considered finished. Those were three colors, thalo blue, ultramarine blue, and then I can't remember if I mixed greens or just put viridine in there or sap green, but that's how that one turned out for day two. And this cutie patootie is my niece's new kitten and for day three I figured playful would be appropriate for painting this and apparently I need some work painting baby animals because didn't have the best look making this cat look like a little kitten, but you can kind of see some progress updates here. The wind blowing in the boat, rocking with the waves, it was kind of interesting. But there's some eyes and then it goes to finish because apparently that's all I caught while I was out on the boat. But there it is, all done. So you can see it definitely looks more like a cat than a kitten, but it's alright. It was not a bad effort for the boat. And day four is quiet. And I found this picture on Pixabay of this baby sleeping. I saw it originally in Kirstie Partridge's video. I think she did this same baby with colored pencils. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check out her channel. She's a really great artist. Definitely somebody good to learn from. But I decided to do it in watercolor. And you can see I'm using the lid of my core paints, trying to use up some of that paint. And I succeeded pretty well. You'll have to see at the end of this video how I did. And this little baby is just coming together. I used a bunch of red actually in this and uh, the skin tone was actually peach if you did a little color picker on your computer. Very peach colored and made sure I tried to get that in there. Anyway, this is the first time I've done a baby in watercolor and I think it turned out okay. I did a baby, not a baby, I did an abstract face in watercolor before but not like a realistic baby. And so I put salt on the hat there to try and get some of that knit or fuzzy texture. It's kind of a woolen, a felted wool hat. And the salt worked okay. I just, I don't know, it's okay. <laughs> you can tell when somebody's not like fully happy with their stuff, but with the hat being so pink or quinacridone magenta, I did try and bring that color down into the baby's arms and the rest of the painting. You'll see that there right here. And then I had the little bit of green and I didn't bother bringing the green down into the baby at all. I just felt that would be a little bit overdoing it. And when I went off screen there, I just brushed some more salt off and there's me adding some more pink. And that's how that one turned out for the prompt quiet. I love it. Just a quiet sleeping baby. So peaceful. I'll probably read just some things on the nose as I've sat here and looked at it over these few days. For day five, which is favorite color, my favorite color is green. And oh, did I want to go crazy just splashing color down. And I am also in love with Core's transparent pyrrole orange. So I wanted to incorporate that in here, but make the main theme my favorite color of green. So I mixed Viridian sap green, green gold. I did add a little bit of the cobalt hue in there, plus some of the Nicolazzo yellow and lemon yellow, just to get a whole bunch of different kinds of greens. And of course, the transparent pyro orange you see in there. And just kind of made little doodles. You can see that it's going to be a tree in the end. Just very abstract. And I had so much fun with this one. It was just a blast. And you can see I put my masking tape kind of in the middle there 
and that's where I can label it. The one on the left is labeling the sketch on the other side of this piece of paper. So for days two and three, and these last three pieces here, for days five, six, and seven, I'm using the Moleskin watercolor sketchbook, notebook, or whatever they call it, and it was interesting on the boat. I don't know if it was because the wind was blowing or because this is cellulose paper or what, but I had a heck of a time. That's I think that's part of the problem I had with the kitten, is I would put the paint on the paper and it would dry immediately, like immediately. I'm used to having a bit of working time with it and didn't have that with the kitten. So things got put on the paper and they just had to stick there. So it's like, oops, well, so much for that. I'm going to have to rethink about how I am putting this on here. It felt like I had a little bit more working time here at home on this piece. So maybe it was the wind combination of both is, is most likely. But this one here is day six flow. And I wanted to do a waterfall. So here I masked off the water and some of the highlights down in the, I guess it's a creek that the water's flowing into down farther. And you'll see as the masking fluid comes off later, that turns out to be a pretty neat effect. And I used the dioxazine purple mixed with a little bit of indigo for the deep color there in the water. And once again, I'm having so much fun with this. I thought that World Watercolor Month might be kind of stressful, like Inktober sometimes can be. But so far, I'm having a blast. Maybe because it's watercolor. <laughs> you can see I took the masking fluid off there and I'm just adding a little bit of color back into that. Repeatedly. <laughs> and, and there as well. I put the masking tape up in the sky this time for my little label so I just outlined it with the purple border and there is day six flow. For day seven, which is free, I used my Niji palette that I set up in the video that I will link up in the corner, and I accidentally forgot to turn the camera on. But anyway, my idea was to do a sunset and then a person kind of throwing their head back and their arms outstretched, feeling free and freedom. However, now you get to see one of my watercolor disasters because it started out good, but I was using black watercolor paint to do the arms and hands and of course my brush hit one thing on the hand wrong and it just kind of snowballed from there. So instead of the head thrown back I had to kind of compensate for the monster hands <laughs> and make a big head. So I kind of picture this as Owens Estava Pit from the Monster Hunter series books so if you haven't read those read those and this guy in my little mess of a watercolor fits him perfectly I think so here is free and the watercolors were not that impressive to work with especially because I had just been working with core for the last what six days so yeah they're okay but you get any other color but the reds and the yellows and it seems like they're I don't know chalky it's chalky without being chalky they're just like more opaque I guess but anyway there's day seven free and here you can see the progress I made on the lid of my palette. So I just took a damp paper towel and wiped up anything that wasn't a large chunk of paint and I have done really good in using this up. Special thanks to World Watercolor Month for helping me with that goal. And here is some cute kitty footage just for you at the end. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really appreciate your time. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, check out the other videos. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. Thank you very much to all my existing subscribers. You guys are amazing and awesome. If you haven't noticed, I did hit 300 subscribers July 6th. That makes me so happy. And that is you guys. So thank you again. Check out the links you'll see at the end and the iCard videos. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be on Friday, which will be an art subscription unboxing. So stay tuned for that. And definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss that. This is just hard to keep up with. <laughs> Ma, where's the sunscreen? No. Ma. <laughs> where did you go? Going so fast I can't even keep up there. <laughs>
Masking fluid, because everyone needs not masking fluid. Masking tape, because we all need masking tape.